Yo, what's up, what's up? It's Tuesday, Facebook Live. It's your boy Randy. Sino to most, checking in. It's 8.30, I'm back on schedule, man. Um, Y'all really got at me last time for, uh, yesterday for checking in early. Um, My bad, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I won't do it again, <laughs> but no. No, real talk, let's get, let's get to it, man. I know a lot of y'all popped in because you saw the title and you was like, man, he about to smoke on live. He about to smoke on live. Share, 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 share. He about to smoke on live, right? Let's get high off your low self-esteem. Get off your low self-esteem and let's get high one time. Yeah. Let's really get high. Are you the type of person, I mean straight up, are you the type of person that um, let others give you value? Are you always at the mercy of like other people all the time? You know... Are you a people pleaser? If so, you need to shut that down right now and learn to accept yourself. Quit looking for acceptance. All right? You got to quit looking for acceptance. Learn to accept yourself. It, it, do, it doesn't matter what somebody else thinks of you. First, stop comparing yourself. Stop comparing yourself to the next person thinking that you need to be um, rocking uh, the, the same fits that this person is wearing or being in the same places this person is at. Uh, following the same people that this person follows. Appreciate what you already have. Appreciate what you already have in your life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the blessings that you already have that are going unnoticed. That's probably why you're not receiving any blessings because you don't show any appreciation. You're not grateful for the things that you already have. So that's probably a, plays a big part on why you're not receiving as many blessings as you feel you should have. Um, start focusing on what's already right in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said, start focusing on what's already right. I mean, you wake up complaining and go to sleep complaining. You know, your self-esteem is probably low because you wake up complaining and go to sleep complaining. Why don't you be thankful for what you already have in your life? You know, if you got a good man in your life, be thankful for that man. Quit complaining about you ain't never got nothing to do. Quit, you know what I'm saying? If 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 um your your thing is you got a, a roof over your head, I mean, be be grateful for that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, pay attention to the things that are already right. Um, you know, pay attention to also, you know, your health. What are you putting in your body? That has a lot to do with your self-esteem. You know, how you feel daily. Do you want to be bothered? Do you feel comfortable? How do you, how do you feel daily? What are you putting in your body that's helping you function on a daily? Stop name calling yourself. You know what I'm saying? Stop, uh, even jokingly. Don't even, it's a lot of people jokingly say, Ooh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm a fat girl and this and that, like, or, uh, I'm a skinny, I'm, I'm skinny, this and that, you know, I'm skinny, I could probably... I could probably fit my arm in that. I'm skinny, this, this, and that. Stop name-calling yourself. And those that are laughing, at, even if you're joking, those that are even laughing at your jokes, you might want to reevaluate them and see if they are really and truly your friends. You know, it's pretty suspect. Reverse the name-calling. You know, if, you, if it's all negative, reverse it. You know, like I always speak, the mind, the subconscious, the, the brain loves patterns. If you keep speaking and speaking and speaking on it, it's going to start believing it. You know what I'm saying? Then, and you start to see the beauty within yourself, or, or see, you know, see that you're a handsome man, or seeing that you have the intelligence to uh, actually sit down at board meetings and put your ideas on the table. See, self-esteem is a psychological thing. You know, it, it's something that that we uh, bring on ourselves. It's a hundred, it's a hundred percent self-inflicted. The way I see it. Um, all right, I know a lot of y'all jumped on because I said I was gonna get you high today. So let's let's get into it. Let's go ahead. Let's get high one time. Who you wanna get high with me one time? Put your feet flat on the floor. Feet flat on the floor, hands in your lap, hands on your thighs. And I just want you to just relax every muscle one time. Relax every muscle for me one time. And then you're gonna inhale. Inhale for three seconds. Ready, inhale. Two, three. Hold it for three seconds. Exhale. One, two, three. Now this time we're going to do it again, but I want you to focus on the breath that you inhale. Inhale. One, two, three. Hold that breath. One, two, three. Focus on your breath. Exhale. One, two, three. See right now, that feeling that you're feeling is body and mind awareness at the same time. That feeling at the end, through that end of that last breath that you're feeling is body and mind awareness. The issue is a lot of people don't know how to live within that state or live within that feeling. That's your area of creation. 
that's your, your moment to create and build yourself. When you can find and bring peace to your body and your mind at the same time and create that feeling and do it blissfully anytime you want to, just with a thought, that's when you're able to create. Most of the time, people are worried about what other people are thinking of them, and that's the person living in the past. That feeling that you felt was you 100% living in the present. No one is living in, a, a lot of people are not living in the present right now. They're worried about what other people think. So in other words, these people are living in the past. The present, the, uh, the present is the only time that you can make changes to your future or changes to your past. So live for the moment sometimes. Live in the present moment sometimes. The future is only continuation of present moments, present actions. So always remember that. So you can practice that. It's just a little hack for you to be able to feel what mind and a body are like align for just a moment. Now, I can't teach you the intuition. That's something you're going to have to learn on your own. But it's all about paying attention to your breathing. You're focusing your mind on something that happens involuntarily. And you're allowing it to happen. So, you know, it's just a, just a hack for you on that. You know what I'm saying? So, and that, that feeling intensified is exactly what that is. Exactly what that is. You know what I'm saying? At, at this place, you can create. You know what I'm saying? You're focusing on... On, on, on what it is and you got to be able to hold your confidence you know many say be confident and cocky and me i say be confident and humble you know that now that doesn't necessarily mean go sign up for the humble plan sign up for the humble program because we we did come to show out don't get it twisted but be humble and confident not hum, not cocky and confident you got to be humble, you know what I mean? But like I said, don't sign up for that program of uh, uh, feeling like, you know, you're not worthy of this because that'll lead you to feeling like you're not worthy of certain things and that's not what you're going for, you know? So stay away from the humble program. Uh, make sure that your friends that are around you are supportive, you know? Even if they don't get down with what you do, you know, you're trying to change your life, they should support that as you're trying to make a stretch towards being a better person. Uh, your friends should always remind you that you're great. You know what I mean? Like if, if your friends are, are, are not reminding you that you're great and, and, and not uplifting you, then what are they there for? You know what I mean? If your friends are the types that are um, always, always taking and you're always giving and they're always taking, then you need to stop giving. Stop giving and see how your relationship with that person changes. And then at that point, either confront it or let it go and move on. But be prepared to do both, you know. And always remember that today's are the only days that you have to be able to write a new chapter. You know what I'm saying? Let that, let that soak. Today's are the only days that you have to rewrite a new chapter. You, I'm telling you, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stop comparing yourself to others. Stop comparing yourself to other people. That'll boost your self-esteem so much. Start focusing on yourself. Start quieting your mind. Start focusing on the present moment. Your mind and body 100% in the present moment. And, and focus on what that feeling feels like and try to achieve that feeling whenever you start feeling that low self-esteem like you're not enough, like you're not worthy enough. Stop it because it's holding you back. It's holding you back. And you're going to transform. You're going to, you're going to uh, actually uh, send, that, send that same vibe and that same feeling out into the world. That whole slouched over feeling, um, non-confident feeling looks worse than what you're trying to hide. So learn to love yourself. Learn to give all to yourself. Not saying be selfless. I mean, not selfless. Not saying be selfish, you know, but start, start paying a little more attention to yourself. I just wanted to jump on, man. It's 8.30. Uh, well, no, it's 8.35. Now, you know, I don't, I don't do them too long. I just try to jump on and jump off real quick, give y'all a little love. I had a, did a webinar earlier today, so I was kind of already in the groove, so I just flew right into it, man. Like always, y'all remember to stay healthy, stay blessed, and forever be loved, man. One.